Welcome you to the historic island of Cyprus and the beautiful Bay of Limassol where this year's ORC European Championships are taking place. More than 50 teams have gathered here to try and perform at their very best and fight for a prestigious spot on the podium. In this very demanding class of boat, teamwork, coordination and experience are key to success. It's been an honor to host such a big event of an ORC European Championship in Cyprus, especially at the Famagusta Nautia Club. We proceeded in bidding successfully for the 2018 European. And here we are today uh, with the first racing day of the European at a great place like Limassol Marina. The first day of racing saw the teams head out to sea for an offshore race, covering 39 miles in front of the stunning Bay of Limassol. Offshore racing is always challenging since it requires great timing and precision, but also some luck in order to take advantage of small gusts of wind and gain advantage over your rivals. Classes A and B raced together and Tech Nonikol from Estonia crossed the finish line in front, displaying an unmatched performance from the early stages of the race. In Class C there were some close battles but it was Katrina the second who grabbed the lead near the finish. Class D raced an inshore format with Aria and Nia Unica being tied on top after this, the first day of racing. Today, ORC European started. We had an offshore race. Uh, the conditions were very shifty. Uh, we went to the right side, uh, and uh, it was the right decision. And uh, it, uh, we did very well. We won the race today, uh, so we are very happy. Welcome to the second day of the ORC European Championships, where after yesterday's offshore race, it was time for a change of mindset for the teams, with four days of intense inshore battles ahead of them. The expectations are always uh, high. We are, we are uh, locals here, we know the weather, so we're hoping that uh, we, will, we will do well. Uh, we didn't do that well uh, yesterday in the offshore race. Uh, I mean, we finished second, but uh, we, uh, were, we didn't get the, the final position that we were expecting. For us, it's a really good experience uh, that we are the, in the Corinthian division to uh, compete against the, the big boats and the big names of the fleet. And that gives us a chance to uh, improve ourselves, improve uh, the boat and uh, find new ways to uh, be better and uh, have a better uh, results. The weather conditions were great today with sunshine and wind speeds of between 7 and 8 knots after midday. Class AB, the day begun with some tight racing between all the boats. Many of them were in with a chance of reaching the podium. Great competitiveness has also been displayed in Class C with close and strategic racing throughout the race course over the last two days. 
Techno Nicole, following an amazing start, managed to secure first place in Class AB, whilst in Class C, Katerina II reached the finish line first and seemed determined to continue in the same form for the remaining races. Class D had an offshore race today, with Mia Unica managing to cover the distance faster than the rest of the competitors. Everybody seems to be enjoying their stay in Limassol Marina and with its warm hospitality, the Famagusta Nautical Club has done an excellent job organising this event. We are very happy and very proud to host for the third year the Ioannidia Regatta at Limassol Marina. We are excited that this year uh, Ioannidia is uh, part of uh, ORC and uh, we have boats from all over Europe taking part in this race. The city also has a huge number of beautiful sites including a medieval castle. Visitors can enjoy these attractions as well as the stunning scenery in the area. We love Cyprus. Uh, Cyprus is really one of the most important destinations for Israeli sailing community. You have to realize that we, when we are leaving Israel sailing to the world, Cyprus is the first destination. So it's very important for us. This is a very important destination. We love the people, we love the hospitality, we love the weather, we love the water. Cyprus is great. After the completion of the two races, Tech Nonicol maintained their place at the top of the standings in Class AB, with St Anna and Daring Sisters close behind in second. Katarina II also managed to stay on the top of the leaderboard in Class C for one more day, with Julia and Tamum Marine Shop fighting hard for second place. Things are starting to heat up for all the classes, so stay tuned as the racing continues tomorrow. days and southwestern winds with speeds reaching 15 knots have helped the sailors enjoy the races and battle at a high level today. Athletes from several different countries have come here to compete and have fun, reminding us that sports have no boundaries. Let's find out what happens as we reach the final stage of the competition. We still have a chance to, to win uh, the race overall and uh, the what we can do is perfect start and perfect manoeuvres. As I told you, uh, we have some, some gaps in manoeuvres. So if we do everything perfectly, like uh, yesterday, we can win all, all the rest and try to, to battle for, for the overall victory. The competition is close and the athletes need to choose their strategy wisely since even a small mistake could cause them a loss of many spots in the standings. Today's races offered some of the most exciting battles we've seen all week. Across the fleet, all of the teams gave us some spectacular action with neck and neck finishes and close calls. After four days of racing, we made it to the third place overall. During the first days of the races, uh, the weather was uh, was not so good for us as uh, there were uh, light winds. But uh, tomorrow, on Friday, uh, the next racing day, uh, I think it will be better as uh, we might see up to 18 uh, knots as we did today. In the offshore race of Class D, 
Mia Unica finished fourth, but is still top of the leaderboard. In Class C, Katerina II has a strong grip on the first place, having dominated the competition. Techno Nicole was the most efficient in Class AB, followed by St Anna and Daring Sisters. There were only two points apart. Let's see who wants it more. After four days of intense racing action, the teams will give everything they have to reach their goals. Every final detail counts as it might make the difference between a winning and a losing boat. The competition has been quite strong. Uh, we saw a race yesterday that was decided by 22 seconds after over an hour of sailing. So that points toward our system being fairly uh, uh, equal. Even though they're all different, they're able to compete. So uh, this is a real uh, important feature of the ORC system. With the temperature set at 29 degrees Celsius, wind speeds are gradually increasing as the final deciding race unfolds. Let's see if fatigue is going to make its presence shown and what role it might play to the final outcome of the championships, whilst the athletes battle it out till the end. What a final race for all the classes. Tension, speed, precision and thrilling battles amongst the competitors. Let's take a look at the final standings of the ORC European Championships and the winners of each class. Of course we feel well as we win and that's always fe feels good and so we are pretty happy about coming here and winning. The competition was really good, we had some opposition also, but I think we performed okay with six first places and two second places and didn't make any major mistakes, so, so it came. Celebrations followed with teams congratulating each other and renewing their meeting for the next competition. Woo!